name is Cody. And my name is Jared. Today we are going to show you how to use order of operations in math. Order of operations is when you follow GEMDAS. GEMDAS is a mnemonic device to remember what to do first in a math problem. G is for grouping symbols, E is for exponents, M is for multiplication, and D is for division. For multiplication and division, you do whatever problem you see first from left to right. A is for addition, S is for subtraction. For addition and subtraction, you do whatever problem you see first from left to right. For example, for the problem, quantity 2 cubed times 4, close quantity, plus 7, you have to follow the order of operations, otherwise known as GEMDAS. First, you have to do whatever is in the grouping symbols. In the grouping symbols, you see exponents and multiplication. You should do exponents before you multiply. 2 cubed equals 8. Next, you should do multiplication. 8 times 4 equals 32. Finally, you do the addition. 32 plus 7 equals 39. Then you are done with the problem. The next problem, 4 cubed subtract 3 squared plus 5. Since there are no grouping symbols, you do the exponents first, otherwise the E in GEMDAS. 4 cubed equals 64. 3 squared equals 9. 64 subtract 9 plus 5. Then you do subtraction next. 64 subtract 9 equals 55. You do subtraction because it comes first from left to right. Next, you do the addition. 55 plus 5 equals 60. Your answer is 60. For the last problem, quantity 5 plus 3, close quantity, squared, divided by 4, times quantity 8, subtract 5, close quantity. You have to do the grouping symbols first, the G and GEMDAS. 8 squared divided by 4 times 3. Next, you must do the exponents. 64 divided by 4 times 3. Now you do the division. 64 divided by 4. Finally, you do the multiplication. 16 times 3 equals 48. Then you are done with the problem. This was our tutorial on orders of operations and GEMDAS. Hope, you, hope this helped you out and hope you liked it. Goodbye from Cody. And goodbye from Jared. See y'all later. Number. Number.